Waiting for some folks to hop on because this is not my normal time. So when you're here, just say hi. Let me know you're here. Let me know that I'm live because sometimes Facebook, <laughs> love them, but sometimes. And we are here for Friday's quickie lunchtime painting tutorial. And so, um, yeah, today it had to be earlier because I have a one o'clock meeting, so I have to be ready for that meeting at one, which I'm not prepared for it, but uh, just need to be there. Anyway, so we're just going to let some folks hop on. We're going to go old school today, so we're going to pull out our primary colors, white and black, a small uh, six by six canvas, and we are going to have some fun um six by six their primary colors i'm gonna go ahead and get those out i also want to take a moment to show what we did yesterday um hey brenda how are you um hopefully you're having a great um friday so far um Thank you for sprinkling the love. Um, I appreciate that. And since you're the first one here, I'm the first one to have sprinkled, what would you like for us to paint today? So that's going to be my reward. Hey, D, how are you? Good to see you, girlfriend. Hopefully you're feeling great. Um, feeling more like your old self. And so we get that in there. Thank you. And I've got my six by six canvas. I'm going to pull out my primary paint. I was just, uh, I had sat down like three minutes before the live time and I was just testing something that I'm going to do with our little bunnies that we did yesterday and on Wednesday. And you can see, look at all of the crackle. They're just super cute. And, and this is how I'm going to finish them. Yes, I'm praying that that surgeon has really great news. Look at the crackle on that one. Some of them, you know, was like a little finer. Some of them was a little more. I think it's how much, based on how much of the, um, the part two, or the part one, how thick it was. So look at the crackle in that one. And then the cute little butts. They all crack a little different. And I love that, that they're all different because then it looks a more organic in nature, not like you quote unquote made it happen. And so, and they kind of look old. That's what that wax did for us. And, and then here's the other one. But this is how I'm going to end up finishing them. Is I'm going to use some of my um, thorn gold sparkling gel. And I just put it on here. And I'm going to put it around that edge, just that little lip and on the sides is how it's going to end up being finished. And so if I can keep my fingers out of it, <laughs> if I can do that, um, but that's those, they are super duper cute. I will finish them up and I will take picture. Yes, people are hard. Just remember 
you do not have to be detailed with her. I wish I had that down here, but it's upstairs. But if you need to, we can talk later. Um, but the girl is, people are hard. Um, but just remember, she's shadowed her hat and the light have shadowed her face. Part of it, you only like a bright, just a little bit. And like this part right here is bright. So the details don't get super detailed with it. Just kind of make it up like dark eyes where, you know, there's darker points in the face and, and just get that general feel for there's a face in there, but you can't really make out any detail. That'll make it easier for you. Thank you, D. All right, we're going to get started because I only have a short time. I got a meeting at one and you know me and my mouth I get talking and so the idea of this is that you can pack all your supplies right in your little lunch box so I've got my red I've got white I've got black I've got yellow cadmium I've got ultramarine blue I have um not that palette knife because I don't use that palette knife for mixing but um it got in there by mistake I've got some brushes and I have left paint and one of my brushes I should look <gasps> oh well I'll just stick it down there in that water it'll be fine we we will get it off um and then this palette knife is usually in there and then a piece of palette paper that I use um hey sherry how are you um hi there i feel good thanks for asking siri i feel good i'm glad she feels good <laughs> that makes my day that my siri feels good anyway you can buy these at michael's um it comes in in just like a little pack uh there's 40 sheets Guys, every now and then they'll run these like buy one, get one free or something like that. So wait until then or that you have a really nice coupon for them. But there's 40 sheets. And I use them for mixing. Yes, happy Friday, Friday. It is a Friday, Friday. Um, <laughs> so we are happy about that. My poor little brush is not happy, though. Let's just see what we can do about that. If y'all make this mistake, a little bit of hand sanitizer, we'll take it right out. So that's the trick. Oh, 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 oh. Guess what? I didn't hook up my camera. Where? There it is. Hold on, guys. It would help if I... No? Yeah? No? Not the right cable. I have too many cables going here. Let's see, is this the right cable? Yep. Hold on. There is the right cable. I'm sorry, I know I'm all up in your face. So sorry about that. Pardon me. I had my computer upstairs. Now I got the cable poured all in the way. It only has this little slot. They put them side by side and like you can't get it in there. There we go. It'll only take a second. Whew. I'm sorry, I had to get all up in your face, all personal. Sorry about that. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Oh, I'm happy to be here. She don't know whether her name is Cindy or Sherry or whatever her name is. She just answers, I think. At this point, I think I could say any name and she's gonna respond. So it's okay. But if you make this mistake with your brushes and you accidentally like don't find, you know, don't see that you didn't clean it out and you put it away, it, um, a little hand sanitizer will clean it right out. So just, I keep a little, well, actually it's a big old jar. This was after the fact. Um, it was on clearance at Walmart. <laughs> I guess after COVID, nobody wanted hand sanitizer. I don't know. Don't ask me. It's all right. Let me get this zoomed in here or not zoomed in, but focused in here a little bit. Come on, focus. 
This is what drives me crazy when it won't focus. There we go. That's better. You can at least see what's going on. And so, but yeah, a little bit of hand sanitizer. Let's zoom in so you don't have to see all of the mess on my desk. I'm gonna push that up a little bit. Um, I got so many stuff, so much stuff on my desk. It's it's a shame. <laughs> Like, come on, Amanda. You don't need all this stuff on your desk. I had it sort of cleaned off and then it's like, yeah. So what I do is I just take a little puddle, put a little puddle. Yeah, but they had like a whole bunch on clearance and look what's happening, guys. Just take my brush, I rub it around in that puddle. And the good thing about using hand sanitizer is that it has the alcohol in it that actually is what gets the paint out, but it also has some a little bit of moisturizer in it, so it doesn't totally kill your bristles of your brush. And so that's the key to using this when you have. I mean, ideal, you would wash your brush with like, you know, some good uh, brush soap. Um, I keep that upstairs. Um, but you, in an ideal state, but you know, life happens and, you know, things get picked up and not noticed and put away and you're like, go to pull it back out. And you're like, dang, I love paint in there. Yeah, a little hand sanitizer will do the trick and your brush will get a little conditioner and it'll be all well. And so it is a busy desk and it is a messy desk. And so I pulled this off to write somebody's name on it. Whose name did I not do? Cindy sprinkled the love. I put D's in there. Her name is in there already. I put Brenda's name in there already. So I think that's all who sprinkled so far. If you have sprinkled the love, let me know. Your name gets entered in here. We will have a drawing at the end of the month, probably on uh, the Monday, the 26th, uh, because the 28th is I think a Tuesday and I'm not live that well I am live but I'm live in my private group not in um not on my Facebook page so for Fridays we go back to the primaries with white and black of course so your primary colors red blue yellow these are uh cadmium red ultramarine blue and cad yellow Um, hey, Lynn, and we're going to paint something. I don't know what we're painting. Actually, I kind of have an idea of what we're going to paint. So let's just paint that and let's just go with it. Um, and y'all tell me, well, let's just, I'm going to keep it a secret what we're painting and I'm going to see if you can figure it out. This is going to be fun. And y'all will figure it out. It's not going to be hard. It won't, it's not a hard test. It's just a, it's just a small test. But it'll be interesting to see who figures it out like first. Because it's not, it's not going to look like what it is at first. Okay, big old pile of yellow, big old pile of blue, and a big old pile of red. Trying to keep my palette knife clean because I really don't want to contaminate these piles, but if I do, that's okay. So I'm going to mix up. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what color I want my background to be. 
I want my background to be like a tealy type of blue. Um, how are you, Lynn? How is the weather up there? Y'all say a prayer for me, okay? Y'all just say a prayer for me because I'm going to need it. Um, today, it has rained like all night long. It was raining earlier this morning. It has somewhat stopped, but the yard is a mucky, mucky mess. And puddles are everywhere. And my little boy loves a mud puddle a water puddle more than he loves to breathe. And yeah, it has been quite the quite the drama so far this morning. <laughs> mm. Mm. Quite the drama. That boy is something and he loves them. I'm like, I'm like why my other dogs would have been so offended but he is like there's a water puddle there is a mud puddle I must jump in it and splash it and throw it everywhere I'm kind of loving that color I might go with that color that kind of reminds me of my favorite color the French macaron Oh, Lynn's in North Carolina. Where, where in North Carolina are you, Lynn? Where at in North Carolina? Are you on your way to Florida? Or are you staying in North Carolina for a little while? Oh, that's going to be the perfect color. So what are you... um? Where are you at? Are you like close to the Outer Banks? Are you in the mountains? She's not on, but Catherine lives near the Outer Banks. I think she's like, I don't know, 10 minutes away or something like that from the Outer Banks. It's very close. It's extremely close to that color. It's extremely close. So if you want to know how I did it, the ultramarine blue, white, to make like a light blue and then just a teeniest a touch of yellow in there but that is it's very close to that color well i have the paint and i just add a little water to make it move because this is heavy bodied paint that i am using this is not like the normal um craft paints these are heavy bodied and so sometimes to get them to get down in that tooth of the canvas and to move, you got to add a little bit of water just to aid it along. It also will let your paint go a little further. I mean, it does, the water breaks down the pigmentation of your paint. It thins your paint, but for this, that's fine. It's not nothing in the world gonna hurt it. And so luckily with your heavy body paints, it's a nice pigmentation in there anyway. So it's not gonna you're not adding enough water to in this case, we're adding a fair amount because I needed, I was a little short, but that's how you can extend your paint <laughs> to, to get it done, right? To get it done. Now I show y'all something and I don't know, I probably should have showed you before I painted. When y'all are working on these small six by sixes and you want them 
to be like little uh, shelf sitters. I have to be careful with that or I, or I messed that up big time um, and get kicked off Facebook. Um, but little shelf sitters, if you look at the canvases, you will notice two sides are very smooth and two sides have these little angles. You see that? When you are painting, orient your canvas so the smoothest side is down. And then that way they'll sit without wobbling. And so that's another little tip for when you have these type um, canvases. And you can always, you know, put a hook on them and hang them. I mean, that's, that's, you know, yeah, it's very close to the color. All right. So for this, we're not mixing a whole, whole lot of paint because it's pretty simplistic colors, but I do need a brown. So in order to get brown, we mix what? Somebody go tell me. Hey, Laura, good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you, girlfriend. Um, so in order to get brown, you can do a secondary color. So a secondary color is two of your primary colors mixed, right? So green, orange, purple are secondary colors. So you want to start with the secondary color. I got a dog hair up in there. Um, I don't need a huge pile, so we're just going to make a green. And then to that green, we're going to add a primary. And so the primary that we haven't added yet is red. So we're going to add the red. So basically to make brown, you mix all of your three primaries together. And the key with that is to based on what kind of brown you want, you mix various shades of the primary colors. So if I want more of like a burnt sienna color, I'm going to add more red. If I want a golden brown, I'm going to add more yellow. If I want a deep dark or brown, I'm going to add more blue. And based on that, I mean, if you add enough blue, you can go almost to black. And so if you kind of get them a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one mix, you're going to get a nice middle of the road um, brown. If you get more of the blue and yellow and less of the red, you're going to get more in that olive color of green. Um, See right now, I've kind of got this olive green color going. That just tells me that I've got um, I'm either gonna put a little more red in there or I'm just gonna pull it a little more darker and put a little more uh, blue in there. But at this point, I don't want um. I don't want yellow. And now I probably got a little too much red. <laughs> some days, some days, you just have to play with it. Now I'm in we're in that burnt sienna. I kind of went a little further that way. I'm just gonna pull a little blue. And I probably will end up pulling a little yellow because now I'm probably going to go into a little different color too. But that's okay. Actually, I probably will get the blue, the, the brown I'm looking for right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the brown I'm looking for right there. And sometimes, you know, when you mix colors, it's just a play. It's just a play. You play, you have fun, and you mix your colors. 
and you can swatch it. You can just take a little bit. Remember, if you've seen Bob Ross, when he mixes his colors, he'll take a little bit sometimes and he will just pull it like that out onto his palette just to kind of see. Sometimes he'll even add a little bit of white just to see like, okay, all right, that's 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 hitting in the area I'm adding. Right, add more blue, exactly. Oh, thank you for sprinkling the lunchtime love. I gotta keep my eyeball on the time. I got a meeting at one. And so got to be. All right. Okay. So I'm thinking. I gotta decide what I want to, where I want this to be. I got a big old brown circle. Okay. That's the starting point. <laughs> we are, we have started. All right. I think y'all go get this really quick. Or at least you should get this like really quickly. Um, I need a little, my water is, is kind of contaminated. So I need a little cup. My water is dirty water and I don't want dirty water for this. So I'm just gonna take a little bit out of my bottle of water right there. And I'm gonna set that right there. <clears throat> Actually, I'll set it right here where you can see. And I'm gonna just pull a little bit of white. At this point, we're just gonna go pure white. I'm going to dry that because I really want that to be dried. Can I plant in the mud? Yes, that's pretty much what it's going to be. No. Y'all, if y'all have, if y'all have tips for how to stop your dog from playing in the mud, I need them. And I'm a pretty good dog trainer. Like I used to do agility with my dog. So I'm a pretty good trainer, but honestly, I have yet to figure out the magic secret to make him stop. My mom was like, I was talking to mom phone day when he was at, we were out there first time and mom was like, I would spank his butt. <laughs> I'm like, mom, I have threatened to spank this dog's butt. <laughs> He doesn't listen. It doesn't matter. Like I have tried like rolling up the little paper, you know, and like hitting it on my leg. He doesn't know. He is, he just like, I was like, I have tried that too. I have even gone to that level. Like I have tried every treat, every toy, every like, I have yet to find anything of higher value because, you know, dogs have a value system. And I have yet to find anything that's a higher value than him hopping in the mud. He's willing to give up hopping in the mud for, like, I have yet to find that. I even buy him chicken nuggets from, from Chick-fil-A and he still <laughs> hops in the mud and looks at him like, I don't care. I don't care if you got Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. I don't care if you got rotisserie chicken. I don't care if you got a hot dog. I don't care if you got cheese. I've tried everything. I don't care that you're holding a stick. 
Like, honestly. All right. Y'all yeah, go get this really quick. Keep these lines as thin as you can possibly get them. And I'm probably using too thick of a brush. But, you know, I kind of like to stick with the quote unquote. Um, supply list for this. It's super simple, just little lines and put a V on the end. The thinner you can keep these, the more of the better it's going to look. And just, just layer right on top of, we're going to work all the way around the circle. But... <laughs> If you're in my private group, uh, February's piece has a bunch of these. So. I know y'all know what this is. But we're going we're gonna to add to it. I just got to roll this beautiful bean footage and get these things going here. I was like he would know not to do it I said well you come on out here and you show him how not to do it because I have yet to figure out how to how to get him not to do it <laughs> I mean he makes such a mess it's like you take him out for just a few minutes and you have like a half hour cleanup <laughs> I kid you not you him the deck the just everything like <laughs> I mean this is just something that like I don't even know when it started but I don't think he did this last year at, at springtime when you know you have like all the rain he didn't do this and I'm like what started this he is on a leash he's on a leash <laughs> blow and make a wish flower <laughs> yes a deity lion yes yeah that some see weeds and some see wishes Oop. Not that big, Amanda, not that big. Um, but yeah. Yeah, he is on a leash. I wouldn't dream of letting him out without a leash on when it's like this. Oh, my Lord, he'd be over in the neighbor's yard jumping in their mud puddles. <laughs> They teach their dogs to jump in the mud puddles. Mm. Yeah, he's he's on a leash. I don't, I mean, I do let him out without a leash on too. We play Frisbee and stuff like that. But when it's like bathroom time, I put him on a leash. At nighttime, he's on a leash. And on... um. 
because I can't 100% trust him yet. He's not, he's not 100%. And so until he gets 100% recall, he will not be uh, at nighttime or when I need him to just go out, do his business and come back in. Um, he won't be without a leash. And so... Yeah, his recall is is not quite there yet. It's probably like ninety five percent, but that five percent of like, oh, this is more fun, uh, is still there. Um, I want to go in the woods and grab a big old tree and try to pull it out. Yeah, he, he can be quite the handful, that little sucker. I'm like, how was my other so good? And this one is so bad. Like, I don't know. I was spoiled. My first, uh, well, he wasn't really my first dog, but because my first dog I got when I was two. Um, but my first uh, dog, well, actually, technically, he was my second dog um once I was married living here um he sold me rotten because he got no training I didn't even know to train dogs like I didn't I mean I did I had trained dogs like for for show and stuff like that um but like just everyday living like you know no other than like potty training and stuff like that of course but not like you know how to walk on a leash like they just figured it out. And or how to just walk without a leash. Like he he spoiled me so bad. I he didn't have to have a leash ever. Like he was never gonna leave my side to go anywhere and do anything. It didn't matter where I took him, what I did. He was just, you know, he won't go leave me. This one, I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> I can tell you right now, he'd leave me in a heartbeat. He'd be gone. I'd never see him. He'd be like, mom, mama who? Mama where? I don't know. I don't see my mama. I'm good. I'm over here having fun. Then came my others, which I had to train a recall on them because they were too dumb to come back just on their own or not leave me. And on this one, oh, Lordy, his recall has been, it's been a difficult one. He's tried my patience. I've threatened to leave him outside. That one works. When I say I'm going inside and I'm going to leave you outside, he comes, he does come running then. He's like, uh-oh. Mama's, mama means business. She's going to leave me. So he does come running when I threaten that. That's pretty fun. Hey, Kelly, how are you? I'm talking about Kai, the bad boy. My wild child who, who likes to test all of the, all of the waters. I'm going to put your name in. But he's worth it. He's worth it. Love that little sucker. Love him so much. That's why he's so bad because I don't spoil him. I wouldn't spoil my other dogs. Mom and told my mom told me that too. She said you didn't spoil your other dogs. You your other dogs were just made to listen and and understand that you meant business 
and he said and she said in this one he just does whatever he he decides he wants to do and you just allow it <laughs> i'm like i'm not gonna say you're wrong about that mom I'm like you might be more right than wrong that might be part of my problem she's like he's just been allowed to do whatever he wants and he doesn't know how to behave because you haven't taught him how to behave i'm like okay mom Leave it up to your mom to tell you the truth, you know. <laughs> my, you're supposed to be on my side here. You're not supposed to be like telling me things I don't want to hear. But okay, we got our dandelion. What do y'all think? I think it's so cute. I love little dandelions. I know people. I know people look at them and they see weeds. I don't look at them and see weeds. I, you know, I said how old I was last live. I'm like a fifty-two. Um, my birthday's coming up. I will be fifty-two on my birthday. Not quite fifty-two yet, but anyway. Um. Um couple months away from it um anyway uh so but i still if i see a dandelion i still blow wishes because why not i'm gonna make up some green And, you know, I'm not one of these people who are like super like, oh, my yard is perfect because it's anything but perfect. And uh, it's um, <laughs> anyway, we have a tough time growing grass. And I'm like, if it's green, it works. <laughs> I don't care if it's a weed. I don't care what it is. Like if it's green, it works. So dandelions are welcome here. I'm just gonna have a little, um, a little like, So I will not be live on Monday. I know I had said I would be live on Monday, but I'm not going to be live on Monday. Um, I have to be in Northern Virginia on Monday night. So I'm not going to be able to be live. <laughs> You'll be 39 for the 28th <laughs> next month. I love that. I love it. Oh, thank you, Laura. He had to take three dogs to the vet yesterday. That seems like a fun adventure. I have to take Kai and I'm not looking forward to it at all. Ugh. Like that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun adventure too. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Um <laughs> but the bad boy. I'm like, I'm at least like at least have some manners before we go. Cause his manners. He don't mind hopping up on people. He loves people. Loves people. That's the one good thing about him. Um, um, my other two border collies, and and I mean, Lord knows, well, one of them, I did not do the, my socialization that I should have done. I didn't know to do all that. I never thought about it, to be quite honest with you. I never thought about, like, growing up, how much our dogs were socialized. Um, and so I didn't do it. And he, I mean, he wasn't mean or anything. He just didn't care for people. 
he didn't like want to get all the uh you know pets and stuff like that he just didn't care for it he was just like whatever I'm gonna hang out with mom y'all can hang out over there as long as you don't come near my mama you and I will have a mutual understanding that's how he was um but Cody my dog I did agility with I oh my lord socialized him from the time he was a little puppy let people pick him up let him like just you know like people have fun with people and he still didn't like people that was totally his decision like because he had every opportunity to like people on the planet and he still just didn't he didn't care for him. he wasn't like a mean or aggressive he just was like I'm I don't care to say anything to you I don't care if you come over here and peddle me and I'm I'm good he wasn't afraid of them he just didn't care for them <laughs> he's just like I'm good all right so we got a little rounding going there with their lighter and darker colors so it looks like it's a round stem and not just some like flat line thing going just that simple and plus we got a little highlight up on there we're we're cooking with gas we're gonna put in a big old leaf on here oh thank you for sprinkling the love sarita sprinkle the love you get entered for a prize um on the 30th of the month and the 15th of the month we draw a winner of course this month doesn't have 30 days so we will draw a winner on um monday the 26th i think or no the 27th i guess because i think i think the 28th is to tuesday and then the first is the wednesday so i will be live on wednesday the first so we'll either do it on either day laura thank you for sprinkling the love um and you get a little prize pack from me. Um, Lynn won it the, the 15th. We did it and Lynn won it. Um, I've got to get it in the mail to you, Lynn. I haven't been to the post office. Um, was was thinking I was going to go yesterday to the post office and I did not. I did not get into town early enough to make it out there. So we're just going to put some funky leaves because, you know, they have those funky leaves and we're just making it up. But they're kind of like. We're just going to make up a couple of funky leaves here. and Just have them coming up from the bottom. They're kind of like jagged edges on the leaves. I don't know. Like I said, we're just making it up. Yeah, he's up there dreaming. I can hear him making little little noises he makes when he sleeps and he dreams. He's probably dreaming of hopping in one of them mud uh, puddles he hopped in today. That's probably what he's dreaming of right now. That's why he's so spoiled rotten is because he's just too cute. Oh, thank you for sprinkling the love, Sherry. Yeah, check my time. Oh, I'm doing good on time. 
black screen. Do you have a black screen? I don't understand why you have a black screen. Anybody else have a black screen? I'm seeing me just fine. Anybody else have a black screen? Hopefully y'all don't have a black screen. That would be terrible. Just go pick up a little bit of the brown that we mixed up and just kind of come in and give my leaf a little bit of a, a character. You know, where it might be bending and just carrying on. We're just making it up. A little darker side. We're just scratching it in. We're just, like I said, we're just making it up. We're not, we're not being fancy and like following any of the rules of shadowing and shading and all of that. You know, on Fridays, we have just, we just have fun. We learn how to mix colors and we just, we just have a little bit of a fun time just hanging out. Where you think it needs a little light, put a little light. Where you think it needs a little dark, put a little dark. And then just kind of like, you know, blend in the two so it's not so stark difference. And you're going to be just fine. You can get all fancy and technical. And there's all kind of rules to follow. You know, if you were doing like really, um, you know, something that was going to be judged or something like that, that's a different story. But this is just like a fun time, fun time. And just go by what you feel like is, it looks like would be right. Good, no black screen. Good, 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 good. It might just be she just needs to hop out and get back on. Um, so maybe that was all it was. So I've had that happen on lives before, but it's usually just my device and I hop off and hop back on. But you know, Facebook can be, it can be a funny creature. And so um, not all the time is it the device. Sometimes it is the, it is the Facebook feed itself that acts stupid, so. But can't complain too much. It is, it is the free platform, right? <laughs> so. All right, I think we are good with that. Now, part of me wants to write on their dandelion wishes just because it's just too cute but I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want to risk messing it up <laughs> like do I risk messing it up or do I just leave it like that y'all tell me um just leave a sweet little dandelion or do we write dandelion wishes on there or just kind of like you know, just let it be like kind of a, you just kind of know there's dandelion wishes, right? You just go have a few.
leave it. Take a chance, leave it. <laughs> so far, the leave it's have it. We got one, take a chance. Two leave it's and one take a chance. All right. Oh, so far the leave it's have it. So we're going to leave it, I think. Unless something changes, we're going to leave it, I think. I don't know. Part of me wants it and part of me is like, mm, I don't know. Just wishes. If my handwriting was prettier, I would be like all over it. But part of me is like, you're going to mess it up. And the other part of me is like, no, you're not. You're going to be just fine. Tell you what I'll do. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to dry this. Now, this is another good tip. Glazing medium. If you're unsure about putting something on your on your painting, like a word or whiskers or something that's fine line that you're like, I don't know if I can do that. I don't want to mess it up. I kind of really want it. What you can do is you can take glazing medium. Make sure it's the glazing medium. Deco, this is deco art glazing medium. You can basically seal your piece with the glazing medium it does have a sheen finish to it so you will your piece will have like a little like kind of like a satiny finish when it's dry You want to dry this. You do not want to leave it wet. Yeah, you'll have to find that because that would be a pretty thing to do. A saying. I have a saying that I like to put with uh, Danny Vines or different ones. It's like, um, but. I'm trying to think of the same. Now I can't think of it. I have to stop and like think for a minute. It's...
We're gonna make sure it's good and dry, not tacky a bit. It needs to be good and dry. So we've got two wishes. We're gonna let the Danny Lion speak for itself, huh? Make sure it's not tacky at all. Okay. All right, we found where they are. Now, when you do wording or fine line, you want to use water in your paint. You want to thin that paint with water. And so we're going to use black. I'm just going to go into my black and I want to thin it out. Now I don't want it runny. I don't want it dripping. I want it to, I want to make sure I have no drippage. I want it to be flowing, just flowing off my brush. But I don't want to see runs and I don't want to see um, like spreadage. So if you see that, you've got too much water. but you want it to just flow. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna do the wishes maybe like right in the corner here, maybe. I don't know where I wanna put my wishes. So maybe just across the bottom. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm being brave. We're just gonna get the work on. And then we can come back and add whatever detail we want to add, okay? You want to reload your brush. You want to make sure you keep that water flowing when you're doing that. Okay. Sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time or I'll end up having like <laughs> a hot mess.
Okay. Wishes. Okay. Now we can have some fun. Now that we got our words on, we can have some fun just like thickening parts of it that, you know, could be just a tad bit thicker. And the beauty is if you were to, if you do this and you were to like mess it up, that glazing medium that you put on will allow you to just take a baby wipe and wipe it right off. And so, Hey, Ari, how are you? Yes, I have to concentrate <laughs> or I'll misspell the word or something. Thank you for sprinkling a little love, Ari. Now, next uh, Friday will be early also because I have uh, I have one o'clock meetings both this Friday and next Friday. So yay me. Thank you for sprinkling the love. But how does that look? Hopefully that looks pretty good. Not too bad. Oh, thank you, um, Cindy. Thank you. But that's our dandelion wishes. And hopefully I spell wishes right. I think I did. Because <laughs> it's nothing like doing all that and then realizing, oops, I spelt it wrong. <laughs> And if you want to do the little thing I do, you can you can do that too. The little like, I'm just gonna pick up some green here. I think it'd be pretty just with the green. Um, I'm just gonna tip my canvas. Go up the side. I think this just finishes it. I don't know. There's something about this that I just, I don't know. It's kind of like one of those happy accidents. I did it to cover up some like, like kind of like big, I don't know, mess I made. And ever since then, it was like, I just do it on all of my canvases.
it just kind of like I don't know gives it that next level look usually make my corners just a little bit thicker just because it just kind of gives it a little something something and oftentimes your corners end up getting a little thicker anyway so you just like let it go just just let it let it do its thing but now doesn't that look nice and framed and like whereas before it was kind of like it had no barrier But anyway, I'm going to turn up and I'm going to, so tomorrow I've already put the post up. We're doing our calendar piece, the little piglets with the wreath, won by a landslide, like, I want to say a landslide, I mean like 80 something or something like that. Maybe there's even like more now to like maybe like two and three and four like it was a landslide those little piglets like took off um yes rain rain go away <laughs> sun come out and dry but there's our little dandelion wishes I think it's so cute um and so and easy to do not hard to do at all um just a cute little piece um that is is kind of perfect but anyway um it's super cute but we will be live tomorrow at 11 doing our calendar piece if you want to hop on that just you know let me know um i i give the tracers to my group but the tracers uh there, there's like a small little little fee for those um if you want to join on but you but the watching is free it's live um on my page here tomorrow at 11 come and join us we'll be doing the cutest little piglets in a little heart wreath uh for our calendar piece we are doing a calendar so each month we will have a calendar piece that we are painting um that will end up being at the end we're going to do two in july and august i think we'll do two so we'll be done by october and that way they'll give plenty of time for getting the uh calendar your calendar printed and then you can give to a family member at christmas time um i know they would love seeing it so anyway love having one um, so join me for that because you can do it we can all paint it and so there it's not going to be that hard but anyway I hope to see you tomorrow at 11 um, I'm going to show you these cute little bunnies again this is how I'm going to finish them I'm using the sparkling gel that is thorn gold around the little bunnies you know where I put that gel I'm putting it I'm putting that on top of it and this is the look that we wanted that's gonna it kind of looks like little porcelain little eggs and so that pouring medium gives that like little look of like is that wood or is that like a little porcelain crackled finish Thing. so there they are I think they're super cute here's here's one not finished and you can see the difference between this one and this one just that little like thorn gold makes a big difference and so um but this is how we're going to finish them and then they're going to go on a wreath and so the back is just pretty plain because you're not going to see the back. And so if you were going to see the back, we would have finished it more like the front. But there they are. Aren't they adorable? Look at that crackle. I love that. This is the classic crackle. 
And then yesterday we did it on these jar, on these vases. It still has a milkiness to it. I'm not thrilled about that. But I don't know with rubbing the wax on it, how you would necessarily get that off um, completely. And so I may get two more of these and try again. These just came from the dollar store. And so um, back when it was a dollar, not a dollar 25, <laughs> but you can see the crackle we have going in that. It's super pretty, um, but it's not perfect. And our sponge kind of like left little pieces on, but that's okay. At least it worked. So there's that. Anyway, I think so. I think they're pretty. So we're going to have some fun coming up um on i don't know what day but we'll we'll we have some fun stuff to to play with and so i've got who would like to see a paint pour would y'all like to see that i've got some um pintart pouring medium and i've had other pouring mediums other pouring even mixed pouring um paints and I've never used them. Um, I, I think I used the pouring paints on on some ornaments, and that is it. I haven't done it on a canvas. Well, I did it on a canvas, but it's been like years and years and years ago. Not while I was. Um, you too, Brenda. You have a good rest of your day. Um, but let me know if y'all would like to see that because I want to do, I bought some chains back a year ago um, to, to basically like pull through them. Um, and I did that, I bought some by, about a year ago now. <laughs> I have to find them. I don't know where they are. Um, they're somewhere in all this uh, stash of mine. Um, you would okay well we'll we'll plan on that one one evening so i won't be live on monday um i will be live tomorrow with the calendar piece um and then on tuesday the 21st i'll be live on paint pixie page at 7 p.m so join me there um and then i'll be back live wednesday the 22nd and on so if you're looking at my calendar on my page i have a calendar just a little thing that says when I'm live, when I'm going to be live. I actually had the 20th on there because I completely, I didn't forget, but yet I did forget about the having to be up there on the 20th. And so um, it was set so long ago, like first part of January, it was set like my poor little pea brain when I put the thing together, it just didn't connect the two dots together that yes, it's February the 20th where I'm supposed to be. And so um, anyway, well, y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna get back upstairs, get ready, get Kai outside for another round of jumping in the mud. And that's why I've got on like clothes. It doesn't matter if he gets dirty because they probably already are dirty somewhere but at least it's not messing up my clothes I'm going to wear later tonight. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great rest of your day and I'm going to go back to work. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.